teaching tool time. Welcome to teaching tool time. Continuing with our series of Moodle tutorial videos, we now take a closer look into how Moodle deals with examination type activities. We will show how they are constructed, how they are taken by the students, and how this activity type should be used in this environment. Moodle has an activity type called Quiz. This activity type can be used either as a traditional exam, a practice exam, a self-assessment activity, or as a formative test after a piece of content has been studied. A set of different question types can be used. These questions can be stored and derived from a question bank and also with some types automatically evaluated and graded. Teacher can also decide if the answers or feedback based on the answers given by the student are shown. For the purposes of this video, we assume that you have already set up your course in Moodle and can add activities to it. You need to give your quiz a name, but usually other settings need to be addressed as well. In addition to opening and closing times for the quiz, you can set the allowed time limit in which the student needs to take the quiz. You can amend this with a grace period during which the quiz is already begun can be submitted. The grade needed for passing are students allowed to try to quiz multiple times how many questions are shown on one page and how the student can navigate between pages and the criteria for completion tracking, if one is enforced, should be set as well. For each quiz, you can provide grade boundaries and feedback for each grade region. If done properly, this feedback can aid the student. However, if done improperly, this is merely something that the student sees after the quiz is over. So, some detailed analysis to the questions and to what it means if some amount of them have not been answered correctly is needed here. You can add various kinds of questions to each quiz. In addition to the traditional multiple choice, short answer and essay questions, you can amend the set with add-ons such as CodeRunner for coding tasks or Stack for math quizzes. For each question or option, you need to give an answer against which the student submissions are graded. You can add also incorrect answers and decide how they will affect the grade. You can store questions in a question bank, from where you can reuse an old question or select a set of questions to be used in any given quiz. These question banks can be for one quiz or for the entire course. The grading can be done automatically based on the sample answers, but you can also edit the grades afterwards or grade the entire quiz manually if needed. If you want to see how the quiz looks and works for a student, you can change temporarily to the student role and even take the quiz yourself. Back in the teacher role, you can get a grade report of each submitted attempt with details of how the students did in each question. If Moodle quizzes are used as a typical exam or as a substitute for it, who knows how the quiz is being taken or even who's using the system. Anti-cheat methods are there, such as no other browser window open while doing the quiz, but it doesn't prevent the use of other devices, other browsers, or even other people doing the exam. Even though there are many types of questions and some new ones have been added, the set of default question types is rather limited. These questions are not easily applicable to, for instance, draw a graph type of questions. Then there's the entire question whether the exams are the best alternative for assessing learning. Sometimes yes, but often not. The quiz activity, as the name suggests, 
can liven up the otherwise rather monotonous barrage of information flow from the text or video material to the student. Moodle quizzes give the course a means of interaction between teacher and students, with which the students can be activated to use their learned knowledge. They also provide a means of continuous assessment and a possibility of rehearsal and application of the course topics into practice. This will be easier for the teacher than a traditional assignment or a quiz, since there's a low overhead in administering repeatable quizzes after a suitable repository of applicable questions and a system of giving feedback to the students is once created.